back with another heart pounding edition of Mixtape Malarkey. That's right, the one, the only pop culture game show with a punk rock heart. That's right. And we're here with this week's featured guest all the way from Bangkok, Thailand. Stay awake. How we doing? Stay awake. We're good, man. We're Great. Good. It's good. good. Ready. Doing good. Everybody got your semen drinks? We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of Mixtape Malarkey is sponsored by Semen Drink. It's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. I'm so glad this has come out to the West world because like oh. someone needed to talk about this. <laughs> we got to this. We break the story here. We're breaking the story. We're gonna do a whole expose on on the semen drink. Always oh, good semen out there. You just know they're gonna. There's gonna be like a Chinese black market version as well coming out. It's just like spunk in a cup or something. <laughs> 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 Mixtapers, we are in for a treat tonight. We're here with the punkers and stay awake out of Bangkok, Thailand, and they are the next to run the gauntlet known as Mixtape Malarkey, our very own pop culture game show where bands compete to earn punky points and dreams of becoming the mixtape brand champion and bringing home the coveted Mixie Trophy which is on its way here. We're so close to having Kenny and Pikachu properly display the trophy in our background. We're so close. Now, are you guys excited to play? Yeah, I'm right. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. For our mixtapers that may not be familiar, Mixtape Malarkey is our very own pop culture game show. Bands compete in three different competitions. Each round is worth up to 360 points to a grand total of 1080. Tony Hawk rules around here. There's a little, there's a little skateboard dude. <laughs> now, as always, we, we start off every episode with a little game called Think You Oughta Know This. That's right, it is called Think You Oughta Know This. It is our trivia portion of the show. And what this is, is we ask six questions. Each question is worth 50 points. And every question has a bonus that is worth 10 points. So each question is worth up to 60 to a grand total of 360. And we lost Yules. He's gone. He's, He's gone. gone. Probably gonna go yeah, yeah, drop the semen. Get my friend. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going to win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some bread real quick and smash my face against it. <laughs> oh shit so while uh, getting to know you guys uh, a little bit i found out that uh you're some pretty big classic rock fans is that correct oh yes oh, i yeah. think i think with us you know our generation both of us uh that are you know in our 30s we kind of grew up you know listening to classic rock with our parents and stuff like that and there are still many many of classic rock and prog bands that i absolutely love with all my heart and still in heavy rotation. So this one, I'm actually was really excited to do. We haven't done Classic Rock Trivia here on the show. Stay awake. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, perfect. Let's go. Perfect. Now, um, we this round isn't timed, but with the power of editing, let's see, where am I? Right here? Yeah, right, right around here. Let's throw like a like a Volkswagen bus in the bottom corner just for shits and pickles. Let's get nostalgic in there. It's probably where most of us were made. I was I, I believe I was certainly made in the back of a Volkswagen bus in the thrill of a psychedelic evening. Love you, mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> Just dropping the family secret. <laughs> but alright, stay awake. We got we got the bus in the corner. Question number two. One. Oh, nervous. Question number one. What movie did the British rock band Queen write and perform the soundtrack for? Oh, man. <laughs> we are big classic uh, rock bands. They, they, they made the soundtrack for this movie. They made the soundtrack for this movie. It was a hit single for them. Oh, oh. Highlander. 
you think it's Highlander? Is that your final answer? They had, um... Oh, no, wait a minute, hold on. Because they were on... Yeah, they, they had that song on Highlander. I don't know if they did the soundtrack. Or Flash Gordon. Flash, yes, Flash, Flash Gordon. Gordon. Flash Gordon, Flash Gordon. That's it. Is that your final? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say Flash Gordon, yeah, because they only, they only did one song. They only did one song for Highlander, so Flash Gordon, yeah. 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 Universe, universe. That's correct, right there. Yeah. 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 Oh, absolutely. Yes. 15 right. points right up on the board. Boom. Boom. Coming out strong. Question number one. That is right. Oh, Queen did the entire soundtrack. And you're also right that Queen wrote a song for Highlander as well, but they didn't do the entire soundtrack. Woo. Wow. You guys are good. All right. As a bonus, as a bonus, what did Freddie Mercury attribute his enhanced vocal range to? It's over by his teeth. Is that your yeah. mind? Well, guess what? That's correct. <laughs> yeah. That's correct. <laughs> Freddie Mercury attributed his, his enhanced vocal range to his extra teeth or his overbite. That's correct. We're up to 60 pucky points on the board. <laughs> All right. Question number two. Tommy was a rock opera and movie. Which famous band wrote it? The Who. Is that your final? Uh, I'm going to no, consult no, no, no. with, and, uh, with Andy on this one. one. Tommy. I, yeah. I it is The Who. I don't, yeah, I'm 90% certain. So can I phone a friend? No, nope, we can't phone a friend. <laughs> Damn. Uh, phone a friend. Got no uh, friends. We're on the phone. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Hey, what else can call a friend? You can't, Andy. <laughs> Is, that so Tom, is, is, uh, is the Who your final answer? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to say the Who. Guess going to do? You're right! Number 55! Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, Holy shit! Yeah. Damn! That is right. The Who wrote and performed Tommy. Now, as a bonus, do you know who played Tommy in the film version? Oh, man. I haven't got Scooby. Uh, no, I, I, yeah. No answer? Yeah. It's okay, you ready? It's gonna be the first time for it. Oh, it's so oh, oh, oh. Sorry, that buzzer. That buzzer is brutal. All right. Unfortunately, I don't know was not the correct answer, but we were looking for it was Roger Daltrey. Oh, man. Roger it's Daltrey so played Tommy. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's all right. Um, we're currently up to 110 punky points on the board. Not bad at all. Not bad at all for two questions in. Question number three. Which classic rock album is sometimes said to be the soundtrack to The Wizard of Oz? Uh, 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 the wall? Is that your final? You think? Uh, is oh, it, I don't know. Like, <laughs> no, no, it, <laughs> it, it is Pink It could be Yellow Brick Road by... Um, Elton John. It's Yellow Brick Road, but I would say, uh, I think it was people taking drugs in the 70s, listening to Pink Floyd, The Wall, or... You think it's The Wall, or is that your I think or Dark Side of the Moon. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Ooh. Now you're stuck between indecision. Is it The Wall, or is it Dark Side? What do you guys think collectively as a final? Go on, Paul, what's your answer? Ah, oh, fuck. Um... Just say, uh, Dark Side of the Moon, then. Yeah, I'll go, go with Dark Side of the Moon as well. Seems okay, to be the consensus. Is that the final? Uh, yeah. yeah. Holy yes. shit. Three for three! <laughs> yeah! yeah. Oh. Holy shit, it was Dark Side of the Moon. That is absolutely oh. correct. Absolutely correct. That brings us up to 160 punky points on the board. Holy <laughs> hell. Now... As a bonus, as a bonus, how many years did Dark Side of the Moon spend on the Billboard charts? And I will give you a year buffer of up and down. So how long did Dark Side stay on the Billboard charts for? Long time, man. I think 11 years. 
<laughs> I've heard the statistic before. <laughs> it's around 11. 11. Anybody else have I anything think... else? Oh, between seven uh, and 11. It actually probably seven or 11. Some... It's a tough it might have been, yeah. Uh, Alexa, when, how long was, um... <laughs> Alexa, no, no, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't <laughs> <Alexa. laughs> yeah, I think so it might've been seven years, actually. I think, think seven, seven years. years? No, I think seven no, years. No, no, it was longer, man. It was there for a long so just, time. Um, because, <laughs> no, 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 serious, because it was, it came out in the early, early seventies, right? And it was still on the t the billboards when I was born. I'm going to say 15 years. You think 15 years? 15 or 16? Yeah, I'll say I'll say 15 because I'm I'm sure I was I was yeah I was born. It was still on the billboards. So you would you want to say 16? Uh, 15, yeah, I'll 15. go with 16. Yeah, 16. <laughs> We're going 16. You're going 16 as a final. Uh, yeah, because up and down. Yeah. Up and down. All right. Okay. Oh my God, you were so oh. close. There's that buzzer again. Oh. How long was it? 18 years. If you would have said 18. 17, you would have got it. 18 uh, years. 900, uh, oh, 950 yeah. weeks it's spent on the Billboard chart. Wow. That's amazing. 7 11. 7 plus 11. Fuck. Fuck this. So close. 7 plus 11. <laughs> oh, so close. Okay. We're currently up to 160 funky points halfway through. That is not bad at all. Not oh. bad at all. Oh Jesus. man. Yeah, dark dark side was but when, when I saw that I was like, holy shit, like that's insane. That is insane. Years on the billboard charts. That's something else. What was their YouTube channel subscribers? Eh? <laughs> how many views does it mean how, many <laughs> how many comments did Pink Floyd have in 1972? That's the real question. Yeah. How many subscribers? By yeah. the way, like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet lots of people were subscribing to Pink Floyd back in the day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Put on the Wizard of the Boss and off we go. <laughs> Oh man. All right. Question number four. Number four, halfway through. On March 31st, 1967, during a performance at the London Astoria, Jimi Hendrix famously did what? He set fire to his guitar. That's your final. Uh, I, I go, oh man. <laughs> I'm nervous now. Did, did, he, did he set fire to his guitar? I thought that was at a festival. Is Woods, oh, Woodstock or something. No, because Woods, well, Woodstock was quite late on in his career, wasn't it? This is March 31st, 1967. Jimi Hendrix famously did what on stage? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, set fire to his guitar, yeah. So that's your final? Yeah. I, I think so, Mr. Punky. I, I think so. Mr. Yeah. Punky, I like that. And guess what? <laughs> You're correct! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Number 50 punky points on the board! Yes! Oh, man! That I'm brings out of us up to 210. Oh my god, you guys are on fire right now. That's a bonus. Ready? Ready to pop the air right out of the balloon? As a as a bonus, how old was Jimi Hendrix when he passed away? 27. 27. Seems to be the consensus final. 27. Yeah. Yeah. That's correct! Yeah! 20 hockey yeah. points on the board. Ooh, 27 yeah. club. You guys are forced with four. You've only missed two bonuses. This is insane. Wow. Mm. You guys are slaying it right now. All right, question number five. Who replaced Ozzy Osbourne as the lead singer of Black Sabbath? Fuck, I, don't, I knew that. I knew that. All well, the other guys would know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I knew that. I knew that. I can't remember his name. I just, I just, I literally just watched Ozzy Osbourne's last album. I listened to it like today. It wasn't really it's changing. Like you, Yuli. Come on, Yuli. Come on. You can do it. Fucking back. Dio was in Sabbath, wasn't he? No, no, no. It was a young guy. It was a young Dio. guy, right? Dio, no, Dio. Dead. No. no. It was some young guy that was in like some, he's some British young guy, I'm pretty sure. I think he was on like some TV show or something. 
That's the one, right? right. Yeah, no, 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 no. Dio did replace Ozzy Osbourne because he got fired because he was taking lots of drugs. There you go. Yeah, that was Dio. it. And he made this song about it, actually. Uh, yeah, that's why I listened to earlier. Your memory's worse than mine, Yules. <laughs> I'm, I'm the old one. We have some young British guy that was on a TV show, Ronnie James Dio. Who do we got? Ronnie I'm James Dio. Go with Dio. Uh, uh, Dio. Ronnie, Ronnie James Dio. I'll go with Paul's yeah. instinct, yeah. No, Guess I'm 100%, I'm, I'm sure. Dio. You're correct! <laughs> yeah. 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 Another 50 punky points right on the board. It's up to 270. Holy <laughs> shit. Wow, Ronnie James Dio did replace Ozzy in the band. Now, as a bonus, in 1982, Ozzy famously did what while live on stage? Bit a head off a bat. Off a bat. And, he, and he didn't get corona? <laughs> <laughs> Final answer? He did that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, I, I, I didn't that's know. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't even know about that. Oh yeah, that's the classic Ozzy is biting the head off. Hey, last yeah. question, what a way from a clean sweep. Never <laughs> been done on the show. Nobody's Never. clean sweep. Think you ought to know this. All right. Never. Question Never. number six, final question. What was the name of the airplane Buddy Holly died in? Oh my God, that's it. Oh man. Oh Jesus. When did Buddy Holly, this is totally irrelevant, but when did he die? 50s, wasn't it? There's a plane uh, name. Wow. Yeah. The, pretty, pretty yeah. famous. Would it be Virgin? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. no, 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 because he, he was in the plane with the big, big bopper. And the plane was called uh, the uh, Beach Banana. Uh, Beach Bonanza or Beach Craft Bonanza. Uh... Come on, Paul. Come on, Paul. Come on, Paul. Come on, Paul. Plain sweep. Come on, Paul. You can do it. Beach Craft, Beach Craft Bonanza. Is that your final? Yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot it as Beach Craft Bonanza. If it's, if it's Beach, just shoot me, but I think Beach Craft. Drum roll, please. I'm so sorry to do this. Here's a buzzer. Oh, oh, that buzzer. God, I swear it gets louder every episode. All right. Yeah. Unfortunately, it was not. And you ready? This is going to kill you when you find out the name of it. The name of the plane Beach. was American Pop. Really? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. And you, you, you talked about the foot thing before with the pie. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. I oh. <laughs> That's okay. Where, where was I getting... Where was I getting Beach Bonanza from then? What the fuck was that? Punky, can you Google it? Beach Bonanza? Beach Craft Bonanza in case it's something cool? <laughs> Give it. Yeah, what is it? Let's see real quick. Oh. So close. Beach Craft Bonanza. It's just the name of a small plane. Maybe... Maybe it... Hold on. <laughs> 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 Holy sh! All right, I'm gonna give you partial points because that is literally the the style of plane that they, they died in. That is, uh, I'm gonna give you partial. That was the type of plane they went down in, not the name, but holy shit! I'm gonna give you half points for that. I'm gonna give you half points. Yeah. I'm gonna give you 25 points for that because it's my show. How does anyone know that? I want. <laughs> it wasn't a point. Like, yeah. Holy shit. How did oh, you yeah. know that? Holy crap, Bonanza they went down in. Holy shit. That's knowledge. Right. That's knowledge, man. Blown away by that. As a bonus, it's last totally, bonus. Uh, 13 totally years my... after the tragic event of the crashing of, of American Pie. Which famous American singer-songwriter would write a number one song about the event? Bye bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy yeah. Who sang it? Pie. Who sang it? I got a fucking clue. <laughs> I don't know. Ah. Oh. Don't know that song. Was it Don Henley? Bye, bye. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Andy, Andy, who? Don Henley? No, ah. no, no, it's Don. Don McLean. 
Don McLean. Don McLean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. That's correct. Yeah. 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 Holy shit. All right. Oh my god. I gotta. I gotta bust out the old punky calculator here really quick. Make sure I get my my math correct. Tom Henley was the Eagles, wasn't he? That is right. It's been a long day, and I hate the fucking Eagles. This might be one of the highest scores for Think You Wanna Know This. Stay awake. You managed to earn 315 out of 360 punky points for round one. Unbelievably that, impressive. That might be the best thing in the test, that, I think. That is phenomenal. Now, whew, man. I'm trying to cool off after that round. That was unbelievable. Now, are you ready for round number two? I think yep. we are. Now, okay. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask two of you to volunteer for this next game. Two of you to volunteer. Oh man. Okay, I'll volunteer. Okay, anybody else? Paul? Paul, Paul. Our next game is a fan favorite. It's a little game that we like to call Lyrical Genius. Yes, Lyrical Genius, where we push the creative envelope as much as we can. And what we do here is we give 10 words and you have three minutes to write a brand new original song using all the words. Now, since two of you are competing, if Oh, we're competing. <laughs> oh, okay. well, Yuli, stuck Yuli, against, Yuli. You're stuck against each other, but you're competing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, if <clears throat> I'm not gonna make you fight, I, I'm not gonna make you fight each other. Yeah. I'll, I'll save that, you know, for for late whiskey nights. <laughs> but now, what we commonly do is, if you get six out of ten, you'll get 250 points. But if you get all ten out of ten words used, you get 360. Since we've got okay, two right. members playing, if you get if you get twelve out of twenty, if you each use at least six, I will give you two fifty. But if you can both use ten out of ten, you get the three hundred and sixty punky points. Fuck yeah! Perfect. <laughs> Mixtapers. This week's words for lyrical genius are the following: Number one, feedback is knowledge is classified, expose, unrest. Number six, as always, it's punky. <laughs> Convince, kill, uneasy. And number 10 is sorry, is sorry. What are they, I'm gonna start the time. Now, what makes this game a little bit of a twist is I hold every right to try to distract you as much as possible as you're right. <laughs> so, John, Paul, are you ready to show the world what lyrical geniuses you are? Yes, ready. All right. We're yeah, basically, we're clock. ready to replace John. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> we're basically ready to replace John. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see who comes up the, uh, with the better lyrics, and we'll find out who's going to be the new vocalist or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stay awake. We're starting the clock in three, in two, and one. Lyrical genius, show us what you got. And you know what, um, Yules, Yules and Andrew, feel free to distract the boys too. You know them a little bit better than me. What yeah. hopefully distracts the guys? I mean, I know they're trying to work. I've already done it. I've already done that. I've already written mine. I won't say, I won't say anything, but I've, I've already written mine. You've already written yours. Were you writing while talking? I you may, were supposed I, to wait for the clock. All right, we're going to ridicule you now. Uh, <laughs> first yeah, time I'm for not playing, Andy. Uh, first time. I'll, I'll tell you my once, um, once these uh, lyrical geniuses um, have spouted their poetry. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> Andy's doing it. John's doing it. Paul's doing it. Yules, it's up to you and I to friggin' get these guys I can't the come business. up with anything, man. It sounds like something Rage Against would come up. Nice. It sounds like something Rage Against the Machine would come up with? Yeah, something Usually, like that. Like the yeah, words, the words. I might have been in a mood. Like I said, I, I might have had one or six shots of whiskey before I wrote this last night. So, you know, it ain't no thing. 
Here we are, Lyrical Genius, one minute, 10 seconds into it. The boys are thinking, you can see steam coming from their ears right now. I've never seen him concentrate. You've never seen him so constipated or concentrated? Both, yeah. both. <laughs> it's the same look. It's the same look. So, yeah. Mind you, with some of the stuff we ate in the Philippines, uh, I have seen that, that constipate. In fact, oh, the Here's, here's yep. the thing, Andy's vegan as well, and Philippines, I'm from Philippines, but right? not, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I like the food, but since I've been here in Thailand, I've been here for like eight years now, the food here is it's just great. I went home, it was just pure oil, like, everything was just fried and pure stuff. oil, pure oil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Andy was just eating, what were you eating, Andy? Andy was just eating, what? like... White rice and bananas. Soy sauce or something. White rice and bananas. That was pretty much my yeah, diet. White rice and bananas. Oh and my for, god, I, uh, I hate bananas with a the passion. There's not many yeah. I don't like, but god, do I hate bananas. I hate you bananas You know what? so much. That, you just named your 90s grunge band Bananas with a Passion. There you go. Oh! There's oh your my 90s. god, we, we opened up for Mud Honey and Whisker Dude and Dinosaur <laughs> Jr. <laughs> Bananas with a passion. That is with, definitely the name of my grunge band. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Holy shit. Cowboys, you can do it. Usually I distract him. Okay, I'm finished. Still got it. Are you done? Yeah. John, are you still going? One second. It's more of a, okay, it's more of a shit. Okay, we got seconds. The shit, run. Oh, you got time to distract John as well because you finished first. Uh -huh. Paul, you need to wrap Ten it up. 10 seconds left. Distract John. Uh, muscles, cooking. Like ice um, and bananas. Uh, <laughs> yoga pants. Uh, yoga pants. Yoga pants. Next time. <laughs> Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Let's 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 um let's address you know the big issue in the room. White rice and bananas together. No, no, not together. Oh, oh, I oh, I'm just imagine slicing up bananas over some freaking jasmine rice and be like, here we go. <laughs> no, a bit of balsamatic. No, 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 no. Um, no, bananas was my dessert and uh, white rice. Mm -hmm. Got you, got you. Oh, man. All right. Lyrical genius. Who wants to go first and uh, read us their brand new stay away track? Oh, oh would, you like, would you like a beat if you're going to rap? Uh, nah, it's alright, but no. nah. <laughs> alright, here we go. It's right. like a, it's like a shitty rap, okay? So I said, sorry to give you uneasy feedback. I'll expose you to the rest of the pack. Rest, unrest, rest, unrest. It's not classified that you smell funky. We still love you, punky. I'm convinced my words won't hurt, they won't kill. This rhyme had knowledge with more syllables. Damn! All ten words used! Perfect Ooh. Great job! Well done! Well, John, I, I've written one, but I'm obviously not part of the game, so let's, let's well, see Well, we'll let John go, and then we'll hear yours at the end, Andy. Okay. All right, what do we got, John? Okay. I'm not convinced, but I have to tell you, so give me your feedback. Expose your own truth. I know you're sorry, feel uneasy. Convinced to kill me. Thank you, Punky. Knowledge isn't fair. Is <laughs> knowledge isn't a four-letter word. It's classified but breezy. The truth ain't easy. Oh, oh yeah. that was good. That was oh, good. I like how you quoted me in there too, right at the end. I like that. <laughs> ten out of ten. Holy really shit, that's like, twenty out of twenty. Yeah, it was that's like the game points. But <laughs> it was such a kiss-ass move, like. You know, flattery will get you fucking everywhere in life, all right? And personally, I, I, you know, I like my wheels greased a little bit, you know? So, <laughs> oh, shit. Andy, to bring it on home, what do you got, buddy? It might be a little bit of an anticlimax after that, but I've got um, feedback the knowledge of classical information to expose the unrest that Punky feels. We killed to convince the uneasy world we're not sorry for the shit that we caused. Mm, damn. That is a grand slam all across the board. For that, you have earned yourself 360 punky points. Yeah. yeah. So not bad. After Lyrical Genius, perfect round gives you 360 points. Uh, in round number one, you had 315, brings you up to 675. Not bad for round number two. Ooh. 
serious Fuck your head. tender yeah. after two rounds. Okay. Holy shit. All right. Whew. Now, are you ready for round number three? I'm definitely nervous. Yeah. As long as I'm not playing. <laughs> you know, no pressure or nothing. But you guys, you could take first place depending on how you do on this last round. Deep breath, please. Deep breath. Our first place champion has not been defeated in seven weeks. No pressure or nothing. No pressure or nothing. Now, the final game of the evening is one of my personal favorites, and it's a game that we call Catchphrase Them All. You gotta catchphrase them all. And this is where we pick your favorite fandoms, movies, TVs, and we hit you with famous quotes. Now, commonly, we ask who said it and what movie it came from, but I wanted to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> spice it up, do something a little bit different this week and kind of change the game, because it's my show and I can do it. Now, get to know you, I found out that you're also pretty big action movie fans, much like myself, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when we think action and we think international action, especially of our age, there is a certain name that comes through and through. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, if you know this individual. And I am talking about the Austrian death machine himself, Arnold <laughs> motherfucking Schwarzenegger. You know yes. it. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, so what we're doing is a very special Arnie-inspired catchphrase them all. And what we're going to do is I read a quote. And you gotta tell me the name of the movie that it's from. Pretty simple. This round is also timed. Now, I'm gonna give you 10 quotes. If you get six out of 10, you get 250 punky points. But if you get 10 out of 10, you'll get the whole 360, which will put you in the first place if you get a perfect game. No pressure. We can do this. Now, yeah, okay. get one wrong. What we do is we either play to you get them all right, or we run out of time, and it's a three minute round. So if you get one wrong, I'm going to jump to the next one. And so I'm gonna continue that until we run out of time, or you get them all correct. Sound good? Yep, okay. All right. <clears throat> Catchphrase them all, Arnold Schwarzenegger edition. Holy shit, the Austrian death machine himself. Stay awake, are you ready? Ready. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. In yes, three, ready. In two. In one. I'm the party pooper. I am the party pooper. We're off to a flying start here, aren't we? You can say pass. Pass, next one, next one. Okay. Get to the chopper. Commando. Commando. Oh. Commando. Oh. Correct. There we go. All right. See you at the party, Richter. Tour we call. That's Come with me if you want to live. Uh, Terminator 2. That's correct, Terminator 2. All right. What is best in life? Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamenting, lamentation of their women. Conan. Conan is right. It's a beautiful day, and we're out killing drug dealers. Are there any in the house? Ooh, Christ. You can say pass. Um, pass. Last action hero. That's correct. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Fucking hell. Revenge right. is, a, is a dish best served cold, but put on your Sunday finest. It's time for feast. Batman is what? That's correct. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Sully. I like you. That's why I'm going to kill you. Commando. Pass. Commando. Holy shit. That's correct. <laughs> uh, number nine. You're a choir boy compared to me! A fucking choir boy! Oh, um, expect not, uh... True lies? Wrong! Moving forward! Uh, Put the cookie no. down! Put the cookie down! All the way. What's that? Oh, jingle uh, all the way. Can you got a cup? Nope, he was trying to jingle all the way! Going back Whoa. up to the top! And the party pooper! Okay, that's kindergarten cop. That's correct! <laughs> Holy shit, one left! You're a... You're a choir boy compared to me! A fucking choir boy! Uh, it's... 
I want to say it's not expendable because that's a different movie. Um, one minute left. Oh, end, end of days. Holy <laughs> shit, stop with <laughs> what? You did it! No. Oh my! Holy, <laughs> holy shit! There goes the hat! Perfect round! Two minutes, six seconds! Oh my god! Unprecedented. Oh my country. Massive. Holy shit, I can't believe it. A perfect round for catch phrase them all. 360 pumpkin points. Pump, pumpkin points, what are those? Punky points. <laughs> so 675 plus 360 brings us up to 1035. 1035 <laughs> points, which makes you now our new grand champion. Stay away. Yeah. And done. The two tones have been defeated by 25 points. Yeah. And by 25 points. Unbelievable stay away. How do you feel? You're the current champion right now. It's kind of like this. Thank you. Ah, Thank you. Words cannot describe. I'm going to celebrate with a sleep and drink. <laughs> Celebrate with a smug face. Like. Celebrate <laughs> with style, the way that we do all across the world, with semen drink. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, shit. Unbelievable. You're going to have to stay posted over the next six weeks to see if, you're, uh, if your crown gets knocked off or not. Holy shit. Unbelievable stay away, punk. Woo. Yeah. Ah, and, amazing. Any, uh, any advice for anyone else that's competing after you? Um, um, get Paul. Get Paul on your team. Get Paul. <laughs> oh, man. No, hang on, hang on. We want to win. We want to win. Get you lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Paul Yuli. Paul Yuli. He's actually the one we like the most. Everyone loves Yuli. Yeah. But we, we throw the jokes at him, yeah. <laughs> we know he can take it. But. Yeah. That's what all the guys say. I, I am so <laughs> impressed. Cheers. To our current mixtape malarkey champion. Yeah, thank you. Oh, so man. Thank you so much for playing, and we'll see you soon. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Funky. Thank you so much. Thanks, dude.